This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got King Yella. Now, he gets on live with academics and someone else, uh, but they're talking about these snitching allegations where basically he gave some statements to the cops and confirmed, like, uh, you know, they were saying, is this person this? Is this person GD? Is this person this? And it was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you're not supposed to do that, right? Especially if you're in the streets. But King Yella did. Now, he was exposed by 1090 Jake. 1090 Jake is very good at finding this type of information, okay? So, we got a little beef going on. Now, he tried to clear his name by getting on with academics since he has a relationship with academics. Let's listen to this. With him, he killed my best friend. I go by my own way of what a rat is. When you hit that motherfucking uh, when you start talking to the police and you telling them about murders, shit like that, and, and, and it's leading to arrest and shit like that, that's a rat to me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got dry snitching, you got a rat, you got cooperators, you got informants, you got all this. Shit. But now Jake done made it to where if you speak to the police at all, you a rat. Hey, hey, listen, I think it's this all started Put with Jake everybody tell, being tell Jake to get on here. You know, everybody was in cohesion. Like, I mean, listen, even though it's my friend, again, I'm not a street dude, but like what, what, what 6 9 did, everybody was just like, yo, you ran with those dudes. That was your gang. You got Six nine told, man. Yeah. He got freedom took. No, you, no, no, that's what I'm saying. So you, you got up on a stand, and if you basically told on the people you ran with and they got jail behind it, you told. Now, I think we all accepted that. The only, right. now it's been deteriorated though, where it's like, yo, listen, I right, bet, let's say we get a body cam footage of like, say the police pull you over and like, you know what I mean? There's a gun in there and it's not your gun. You say it's your girlfriend gun or something like that. They're like, yo, why are you telling the cops if somebody's gun at all? Like, it, it, it's, it's kind of yeah, that's that gun. They pick a truth. What about Vaughn telling us the CEO, I can't go over there, Jeff McGraw over there. Oh, I can't go over there. That the that's the nigga. That the that's the, I ain't. can't go in the cell with him. He killed my best friend. That ain't the same thing. Oh, well, if he say that, then yeah, that's... Bob said that? Man, come on, man. The, the thing I think that's really bad about this is because, like, I think it's almost like a competition of who could be the nigga who kept it the most real. And they're trying to do this thing where it's like, like, for example, I'm going to tell you what, what I would believe, right? Okay, I, 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 and I read everything, and I posted it up, too, you know, because I've seen Jake put it out. And I would say, okay, did anybody get locked up based on any info? This, this is me, though. Remember, I'm a civilian, so my, my pain doesn't count, but this is my pain. Right. right? Did anybody right. get locked up based on the, the information that he said? No. All right, Ben. I don't think he's a snitch, right? Now, that's to me. However, to, like, I feel like there's, like, a almost a, it's, like, levels to this, right? It's, like... You know, there's a new definition every day where it's like, well, a real nigga wouldn't even say nothing. And I'm like, damn, like, really? Damn. I can't go in the cell with him. He killed my best friend. I go by my own way of what a rat is. When you hit that motherfucking uh, when you start talking to the police and you telling them about murders, shit like that, and, and, and it's leading to arrest and shit like that, that's a rat to me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got dry snitching. You got a rat. You got cooperators. You got informants. You got all this shit. But now Jake done made it to where if you speak to the police at all, you a rat. Hey, hey, listen, I think it's this all started Put with Jake everybody tell, being. Tell Jake to get on here. Yo, know, everybody was in cohesion. Like, I mean, listen, even though it's my friend again, I'm not a street dude, but like, what, what, what's six? Now, here, sorry, I repeated some of that. Uh, Jake didn't even get get on it. I don't think. Um, Jake will have a back and forth with him for sure. Okay. For sure. What is this? Waka Flocka advice to young rappers about creating ops and value to 37 year olds. All right. So is he a snitch? Well, 600 Breezy says he is sort of a snitch. He didn't put anybody in jail, but he was talking too much to the police. I don't know. Waka Flocka um, talks about ops. Yeah, rap artists. Stop creating ops. You would never be able to do this again in your life, bro. I'm almost 40. 37 years old, my guy. And I still can do this. Not because I'm gangster. Not because I'm It's because I know who the f I am and I know I got love. I love a lot of people. 
stop creating options, my boy. It's not who tell you. Get it out of your brain, bro. Y'all want to be this age, bro. I got something over all y'all. And I got zero dollars in my pocket. So Waka Flock is running around New York. You know what's funny, man? What is Waka Flocka up to? I haven't heard of him in forever. He disappeared. Waka. Let's see. Let me see what he's up to. Let's go to his Instagram. Nothing, bro. I don't even see shows. I don't even see shows. I think he quit. I think he was done. Oh, well. You know, it's funny because, like, Gucci Man didn't even stop. He never stops. Um, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button.